Hey guys, this is the third and last WAMP install video. So in the first video I showed you how to install the bundled WAMP 2.2 package and in the second video I showed you the different configuration files for Apache, MySQL, and PHP and uh, PHP MyAdmin. So in this video I'm going to install all the components separately. So I've deleted my WAMP 2.2 and we're going to try to install MySQL, PHP, and Apache all separately set up the config files and get to the same state that we are at um, with the bundled package. So how I'm going to set up this video is I'm going to show you where to install or, or get the, uh, the installers um, online and um, then I'm just going to skip forward because I already have all the installers on my computer and then we'll go ahead and install them and uh, set the configuration. So I'll first just uh, show you where to get these installers. So Apache, you can just go Apache download. Now this is for a Windows 7 download. Um, it should be pretty similar on XP etc. So if you click on this link here, you know this this is the official website. Um, go to this stable release and you can click on this link and go forward from there. For MySQL, MySQL download. And this is the order you're going to want to ins uh, download them, well install them. It doesn't matter which uh, order you download them in. Um, so you're going to want to hit this download button here. You'll have to re register, I believe, in the next page. So you're going to select to download this guy. And you're going to have to sign up if you aren't signed up already and uh, choose a mirror site, etc. So we'll get out of here. Now PHP. PHP.net downloads. You'll notice at the bottom here, this is where you want to go if you're, you're you're doing this for Windows. So you want the installer. So there's a 5.3 and a 5.2. We'll go for 5.3. And you're, you're going to want the thread safe one. I've had issues doing the non-thread safe one. So we'll go the installer here and get grab that one. So let's back out of this. And then you're going to want to go and get the PHP MyAdmin tool. So, again, from an official site, it's always safer that way. Um, you can go all languages if you want, or English, you know, zip file doesn't matter. I grab this one. So, once you have all of those uh, downloaded to your computer, you can have, you'll have all the installers set up. So this is the order we want to do it in Apache, the MySQL, PHP, then PHP MyAdmin. So I'll show you where to place the PHP MyAdmin, um, given the r sort of default directories that you're going to get uh, after uh, installing these guys. So first off, you're going to want to go under your local C. You're going to want to this is from a previous in install. You're going to want to create a WAMP directory. Um, just a common place that you can put everything. This is how they set it up in the WAMP 2.2 bundled version as well. So we'll try to keep a kind of similar to what they do. So it'll be empty at first, and you're gonna drop all. Uh, you're gonna, you know, set all the directories inside these installers to point there. So we'll go ahead and we'll install Apache. I'll try to do this as quickly as possible, so you guys don't have to sit there watching this video for too long. Next, next, next. Typical. Change this to our WAMP folder. Okay, next. This only takes uh, a couple seconds. Apache is probably one of the quicker ones. Accept. There you go, finish that up. So Apache is here, it has all the files you need, it has the conf with your config file, it has the htdocs with your default uh, index.html page. So this is where we'll drop our PHP my admin later. Um, by default, Apache will look in this folder versus the WAMP 2.2, which looked for a www folder inside of this directory. Um, they set that up uh, by changing the config, uh, the httpd config file to point there. So we'll jump right in and do our MySQL install. So now the MySQL installer will actually install um, a, a MySQL installer, which then installs the, the server. So it's kind of a two-step process. Um, I think the, uh, the Oracle MySQL installer takes about 200 megs on your, on your hard drive. 
so it's not a light product by any means. Um, so install MySQL, accept, next. Um, skip this, you don't need to check for updates for the installer. Um, developer default has a whole bunch of extra stuff like the MySQL workbench, which is similar to PHP MyAdmin. It has a bunch of tutorials. We only need the server. Here is where you set the, uh, the directory. So we'll set this to WAMP. Set this to WAMP. Proceed. Proceed to the install. So it's going to install it now. Then it's going to want to do a con some configuration now. Because I've already installed this previously, you know there are some configurations left behind. So I've had some issues going through this very smoothly. So again, current root password. You wouldn't have this option if this was your first time installing it. I just use pass01 as my password. So in this stage here, this might take a little bit because it's going to run into some sort of confusing state. Yeah, it says last error. Unable to update security settings. Access denied for user root. Um, so we'll see if this causes a lot of problems. Otherwise, we'll have to manually um, change the configurations ourselves. So we'll just try to proceed from now and continue as you would be able to had you not previously installed um, MySQL. So we'll jump in and install PHP. Next, accept, next. Change the directory here. Now it's an Apache 2.2 module, so this will allow you to then choose your configuration directory for Apache, sa saving you uh, to have to change this in your configuration file afterwards. So this is going to just insert a line for us. Um, so the extensions are listed here. You know, you have your MySQL, MySQL I, etc. Just hit next and install. So if we go back here, you can see that. Um, MySQL was installed. It has the my INI, which is kind of MySQL's configuration file. Proceed. And uh, yeah, so now PHP is installing and it has just finished. So PHP will have its configuration file, which is located PHP INI right there. So we have everything that we need. It has its extensions. Uh, these guys here are the key ones. So now our last step is to take our zipped. PHP my admin, go under Apache, HT Docs, just drop this guy right in. Now the reason why we're dropping here is so that we can type in our web browser localhost slash PHP my admin and get easy access to it. Because there are a lot of pages in here that we, we want to access. So we'll close this up. So now we have this. What you'll notice is that um, by default it's the config file is called config.sample.ink.php. You're going to want to change this. Get rid of the sample here. Um, so I'm going to actually leave it in there. I'm going to put it back just so you guys can see the errors that you're, you're going to get by default. So we'll leave that for now. Um, I believe I have a, a file in here that's going to help us out a little bit. So I have two sort of steps. You, you have to add a couple lines into the httpd.conf, which is your Apache configuration file. And you have to change the name to remove the sample. So let's jump into our web browser and see what happens when we try to access localhost. So you can see here that our Apache 2.2 is running. So we're, we'll just do a quick restart just for the sake of doing it. I'm going to clear my history. I'm going to start fresh here. I just want to make everything as similar as to how it would be um, for you guys. Now, my web browser just crashed on me, so that's not cool. We'll exit that. And we'll try this again. Clear recent history. There we go. So our history is all clear. So it's mainly the cache and stuff that you, you want to clear. Localhost. So it works. So it works is pointing to Apache's htdocs, this file here. If we open it up with Notepad++, you're, you're going to see that that's what it's loading. So now we're going to try to point to this directory here, localhost slash php my admin. And it's going to list all the files that we can find inside here. So the key one that we're going to want to access is this index.php. 
which is right here. So let's try clicking that one. So typically I didn't usually get this error message. I got basically I just got the raw text from here sort of pasted right into the web browser. Now it seems like the second time I install it, I'm getting a, a different sort of error message. Um, either way, this, this one is primarily related to the fact that we haven't, um, you know, we, we don't really have a config file for phpMyAdmin and we don't have, um, Apache doesn't have the ability to read .php files. It just won't understand them until we add this, this type into our config file. So let's go and do both of those. Um, but a lot of times it will complain about this extension and not being able to find this MySQL I extension. So we're going to make those changes so we don't run into the, these problems. So we're going to change the name of this file and get rid of uh, the word sample. That's going to be good. Now we're going to go under the configuration file for Apache, this guy here. Open it with Notepad++ or whatever nice editor you have. And right here around line 384, 385, somewhere in that range, where it has a, two add types already there. We're just going to add these guys right underneath. We're going to save this file. If you make any um, changes to your configuration files, whether it be your PHP or your Apache, you're going to want to restart your server. So we're going to do that. So we're going to restart it. We're going to go back here. We're going to hope that my web browser doesn't crash again. Uh, by now, the web server should have uh, restarted. And we go in here. And it's it's still complaining, so you're you're stuck here wondering why you know it's not complaining about the MySQL I extension anymore. It's complaining about just MySQL extension. So you know you're starting to question you know what what have I done wrong? And um, the odd I've I've tried many different ways of trying to fix this. You know I did diffs between the WAMP 2.2 bundled configuration files for both the httpd.com the PHP INI and, and the files that you get when you download them separately, thinking that there's there's something I'm missing here. I, I must, you know, I must be missing something in the configuration file. But then I went, and I went under my Apache, and rather than restarting, I stopped it. So let's wait for this to stop. You'll get a little red dot here. So it's stopped. Then you start it up. We'll go back. We'll we'll clear our, our cache and everything again, just to be safe. And then I noticed that it works. So I don't know what the difference is between restarting, which we did previously, and stopping and starting, but something causes it to work. So I'm not sure why, but uh, maybe that's a bug. Anyways, it, it gets us to this point where we got at with our WAMP 2.2. Now because I have a mix up with my passwords when I was installing my SQL, you won't have this issue. I might not be able to get in here. Um, so cannot log in to, to my SQL root. I'm going to get in with admin without a password. Wait, admin. So anyways, because I've gone through and I've, I've set various different passwords, um, and I don't want to show that in this video to have a, how to fix this, I just want to show you how to install the separate components, how to be able to have Apache read your PHP files, um, to change the name of your config file for PHP MyAdmin to get to this stage. Um, that's that was the goal of this video so I'm gonna end the video now um, if you like the video like it if you want to see any more subscribe to my channel check out my channel you know thumbs up this video is the key thing um, that way you know a lot more people can see the video uh, when it comes up in search engines anyways um, take care guys until next video so see you later. I know I said I wasn't gonna show you guys uh, how to fix this little issue here with getting local host to work um, but I'm going to anyways. Um, so my problem was was I was going underneath here and I couldn't get um, it sort of blocked me here saying um, cannot access using uh, root at localhost etc um, because I was having issues getting through this sort of configuration phase when I was trying to set my MySQL server password well anyways I did the exact same thing that I just showed you guys in this video um, but I, what I had to do was I had to clean up a remaining directory. So I guess I had a data directory inside of my uh, program files here um, from a previous install. So I had to delete that. I deleted my uh, 
my one inside my WAMP folder as well. So the one that I had inside of here, um, after uninstalling um, my SQL Server. So I did all of this. Um, I restarted my computer. Now I went through the process of installing um, the uh, the developer default version. So it had all the extra tools as well. And uh, it, it took me through that exact same stage where I had to set um, pass zero one three times in a row. You know, as your current and and your your new password. And as you can see, it says configuration complete. So I actually got through this stage without it complaining uh, about this the, the, with this error message that I was getting. So I'm actually I haven't actually proven that this has worked yet. So I'm just going to work through here, and it's going to try to configure these samples and examples as well. So hopefully this doesn't take long. So it all looks like it went well. Um, start my SQL Workbench. Oh, we don't need to show that. We're, we're going to use PHP my admin. So now I'm going to see if I can just get in here with root and pass 01. And boom, I'm in. So that's how you can solve your problems. If you end up with a bunch of issues here at the beginning login screen complaining that you can't get in because your password's wrong or whatever, um, do a couple things um, involving, you know, go into your configuration files. I'll show you my configuration files quickly. Uh, local WAMP directory, um, Apache. So actually, I must have, yeah, I didn't even set the directory. So I actually placed it back in here, which caused me the problems in the first place. So it's actually installed here. Um, so we'll go back WAMP folder. Apache, um, htdocs, PHP my admin. I'll show you this configuration file. So in here, you know, they tell you to set this blowfish secret password. So I set that. I also set a user and password here, root pass01. So I set that. So make sure you have that. Um, you know, delete, uninstall your your uh, your server using the programs sort of control panel tool here to to delete uh, to delete programs. Um, delete the data directories underneath your WAMP folder if you've if you have previous ones inside of your program files like I will now. Delete those ones. Restart your computer. Go through the install all over again, and it should work just fine. So. Let me know if you still have any problems. Um, we'll try to work them out. I've been kind of dealing with a lot of issues recently with this, um, installing the components separately. It's definitely not as straightforward as installing the bundled package. So anyways, I hope this helps. Uh, talk to you guys later.